In this video, we will see about a full order. In the last video, we have seen about how does a half order work. So, first I will design a full order using truth table, then we will go for the circuit design. So, in full order, what is there? We have three inputs. Uh, it is taken as A, B and C. In some cases, you will find the C is written as C in, but carry in some cases it is written. Then uh, uh, we have here. So, then uh, we have here sum and the carry as the output, two outputs will be there. So, for the input of 0, 0, 0, my sum will be 0 and carry will be 0, that is plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Next plus 0, 0, 1, your sum will be 1 because 0 plus 1 will give you 1 and the carry, no carry will be generated, so it is 0. Similarly, for 0, 1, 0, the sum is equals to 1 and the carry is equals to 0. Similarly, for 0, 1, 1, the sum will be equals to 0 and the carry will be generated here that is 1. Next is 100 0, 0, for which the sum is equals to 1 and the carry is 0. Similarly, for 101, 0, 1, the sum is 0 and carry is 1. Next is 110, 0, here also sum is 0, carry is 1. Then the last one is 111, where my sum is equals to 1 and the carry is equals to 1 because 1 plus 1 is 10 0 and 10 plus 1 will give you 11. 1, 1. Now let us see the circuit uh, Boolean expression for sum so that we can uh, implement that in the circuit. So how to write the Boolean expression for sum? So wherever there is a 1, I need to consider those SOP terms here. So first one is A dash B dash C, then uh, next one is A dash B C dash. So uh, next is here which is A B dash C dash plus A B C. Okay. Now, here how to solve through if you go through the uh, K map, then you will find all distinguished uh, places so you cannot solve it. So, here what I will do, I will take A common here, it becomes B dash C plus B C dash and in the next term if I take A common, it becomes B dash C dash plus B C. Okay. Now, here what I can do, so it is A dash into B dash C B C dash, this becomes your B XR C plus a into b dash c dash and plus b c, it will be resulting your b x nor c. Fine, this b x nor c also can be written as b x r c whole bar as a complement. So, finally, we get a dash b x r c plus a into b x r c bar. So, that means I can write this is a x or b x or c. Fine, simple. Next, we will write for carry also. The carry can also be uh, solved with K-map, but if we do with the Boolean expression, it will be easy to implement. We will see how. So, first carry is here, which is A dash B C. Second one is your A B dash C plus A B C dash plus A B C. So, that is my carry here. So, that will be equals to here, if I take common as C from the first two terms, it will be A dash B plus A B dash. Fine. And from the second two, if I take a b common here, it becomes c dash plus c. Now, c dash plus c is equals to 1. So, we will be uh, discarding, discarding this. Now, this term is what this is a x or b. So, here it will be c into a x or b plus a b. So, that is my expression for the carry. So, we will be trying to implement this in the full order. So, let me just write the expressions and then we will be implementing that. So, my sum is what? Sum is a x or b x or c and the carry is c dot a x or b plus a b. Fine. Now, how to implement this in the circuit? Let us see. So, first we will go for the uh, finding out the gates here. So, if I go to all groups and uh, here if I write I need the x or gate here. So, I will write x or. So, I will get one x or gate here. Fine. Now you see I need A x or B x or C, I will be taking another x or gate for that. So here I will get A x or B x or C. Then I need AND gates. So how many AND gates will be required here? If you see into the expressions, I will take two input AND gate. So one AND gate will be used to find out this C dot A x or B, another AND gate will be used to find A dot B. Fine. And this output of this two AND gate, as you can see here, it is connected to the, uh, they are connected with OR gate. So, plus symbol is there. So, here I will take a OR gate here. 
so to input or gate and i will keep it here so that will give me my carry now let us do the connections here uh, uh, first i need the inputs as well so i need three inputs here so how to get those inputs so interactive digital constant i'll take so here it will be interactive so interactive digital content i i need three of them so this is one then uh, this is two and this will be three so three interactive gates i have connected uh, constant i have connected now this one will be connected to the input of first xor gate and this will be a xor b now the output available here is a xor b and this output i will connect here to another xor gate and the third input that is c i will connect to the second input of the xor gate and here the output will be my a xor b xor c similarly to find the second one first one is what c dot a xor b so a xor b is already available to uh, already available here so i'll just connect one input here and this one will be connected to your c so it becomes the output here becomes c dot a xor b next is this and gate is resulting a dot b so here i'll connect to one input to a and uh, another input i'll connect to b so that becomes a and b and these two outputs are connected to a xor gate fine now my uh, inputs are complete circuit is complete so what i need now i need a probe here so the probe is required for what to see the output to for sum and carry so here i'll take the probe so one i'll take blue and uh, blue for the sum i'll take and then another i'll take red for the carry you can take any other color also so the probes will be connected here one probe to sum and another will be connected to your carry now my circuit is complete here let us see that uh, after simulating whether the circuit works or not so i'll simulate the circuit here now you can see the input is 0 0 0 and the output is 0 0 no output is there so if i make input 1 0 0 then sum is 1 and your carry is 0 here so it's not going now if i take it is 1 1 then you can see 1 plus 1 is 1 0 so here carry is generated that is 1 and there is sum is 0 fine similarly if i check for 1 1 1 so that means your sum is also equals to 1 and the carry is also equals to 1 so this is how you can simulate a full adder in multi sim and verify that using the probes so in the next video we will see about the half adders